What's up everybody, I'm Jamie. I'm Gary. We're from Redwood and Rye Studio, and today we're gonna to be unboxing the Magbeam by Magmod. So if you're unfamiliar with Magmon, it's this really awesome modular product that we can attach super simple to our flashes to really control the light output and, and place the light exactly where we want it on our subjects. That's right. And if you're not familiar with some of the products that Magmon already offers, uh, here's a quick rundown on what they have, which you can purchase on their website, magnetmod.com. Um, they offer grids, which really allow you to control the light. Um, gel holder with gels, CTO gels, color correction gels, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Mag Sphere, which is great, beautiful light. Mag Bounce, um, which is awesome, again, beautiful light. And the Mag Snoot to really drop down that, uh, that light and pinpoint it onto a certain spot in the subject or what have you. Um, so, yeah, great products. We use them probably about 99.9% .9 of the time. At on our shoots, during weddings, stuff like that, just very easy to use. And uh, yeah, so this is the new product. All right, so here we go. We've been waiting on this thing for quite a while now. Um, it was part of a Kickstarter campaign. So we're super excited to use it. We really believe in their products. Let's get to it. Let's open this tape here. And get our first look at the Magnum. Alright, so as usual, Magmod does an awesome job at packing. Um, the products really show well. Love the packaging that they use. It's definitely top quality. We have two of them here. It's like the looks like the masks moved around a little bit in the container. So this is the box, right? It should come with all these different components, which is the mag beam, uh, some of these masks here, and these lenses that help you, you know, shape and control the light. Uh, one is used for like a telephoto, uh, projecting the light forward. Uh, one is used for the masks to help project patterns on either your subject or your backgrounds. Looks like it. Has a little bit of tape here. Let's cut that bad boy open. Slide it out. Yeah, this is super nice. Love the packaging. All right, so here it is. All right, it comes with this little carrying pouch that you can put all your stuff in. Um, we use, we have a ton of these lying around, and we actually use them to hold all of our gels and random components that are in our in our kit. We got this guy which is the beam here. Just so you guys can see how it works. Once you have this grip on, you can simply just attach it. And then these are the lenses that come with it. On one side it's smooth and on this side it's rigid. You can't see the ridges on the camera, but you can hear the scratching of it. They're there. And uh, the boys at Magmod say that the side with the ridges on it um, should be facing in towards the flash head. So you want to make sure you get that right when you uh, first start using it. So it would simply slide into Well, I need some practice, obviously. But it slides into this slot here. And there we have it. Well, with the basic kit comes some of these basic masks. And they're labeled right on there, which is really nice. That's a newer feature uh, on the gels. And now these masks that have, they tell you what it is. So this is a slit pattern, a spot, box pattern which mimics a window and this is the diagonal pattern um, which could you know also mimic like a window shades or something like that 
And then beyond that, you can also order uh, the pattern, another, an additional pattern set, which we'll go ahead and open now. Let's check out these last ones. One called a dream. Dots. Dots. Wave. And an orb. And this one I'm actually really excited to try out. It looks like it's going to be really cool. Okay, there you have it. Magbeam by Magmon. And uh, just a quick note before we go. Um, in order to use the mag masks, you want to make sure you're using the wide lens in the holder and you want the mag beam fully collapsed. And when you're putting in the mag mask, it goes snug right into its little home here in the back of the mag beam. And if you're gonna use a gel to change the color of that mag mask, you wanna make sure you put the gel in the holder with the mag mask. And that's it. We can't wait to start using it. Get some examples up for everyone to see. And we'll see you all soon. Thanks so much.